we're gonna finally start painting the hull of the boat. That's so good. Hi, I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And together we are on the mission of bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Monday for a new episode. What's going on? We're finally going to install the Genoa track. Three more to go. I'm really, really anxious to see this in place. This has been almost two years since we took it out. I know like when you forgot how it looks with <laughs> the track in place. We're gonna find out today. First screw in place. Yeah, yeah, I think it's gonna work out. <laughs> we do have a track now. That's two so tracks. Yeah, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, two tracks and four cars. So now we can have the big Genoa and the small Genoa. Uh, what's next now? I think we can do the gas locker first. I don't see you, my friend. <laughs> Hope to see you soon, many times. Many times, every day. <laughs> Our outboard has a wing now. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna fly. Yeah, the thing is, without this wing, this foil, the outboard with one person on the boat takes a long time to plane. It, you go like, you know, like, and then you go down, and that makes it. I think, in my opinion, dangerous. So if you have two persons, you put one person forward and it's easy to play. But as many times you're gonna, you know, ride the dinghy by ourselves, or me or Roberta, we're gonna install this. Both friends of ours, two friends of ours said that with this, it's magical. It's so much better and we trust them. So we're gonna try this. It reduces a little bit the velocity of the engine, but okay. We have a 2.8 meters dinghy with a 15 horsepower outboard. So it's, we have enough power already. That's complete, but it's getting dark. I was hoping to do something else today, but I don't think it's hard to work when it's dark and the mosquitoes are starting to get <laughs> crazy, you know? So I guess we see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. What's going on? We started painting the bottom today. That's pretty good. Yes. Yeah, day one of painting the bottom is gonna be only fixing, you know, spots where the bound between the paint and the bottom wasn't too good. So we set it again, we clean it again. And we're gonna try to apply some epoxy paint just to create a better bound and protection layer. And then we're gonna apply the primer for the anti-falling tomorrow. So first day, just fixings. Tomorrow, primer. The day after, that's Monday, we're gonna start finally applying the anti-falling uh, anti paint. I can't wait to start the anti-falling paint. That means that we are going to the water soon. Actually, this is the first step. I hope the weather collaborates. <laughs>
some subtitles because we're gonna do something else. Yeah, I feel like closing this today because tomorrow is gonna be the primary day for the bottom of the boat, and the day after Monday we're gonna paint the start painting the bottom. And I think it's important to put the centerboard down to check if everything's okay and start painting the centerboard. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the centerboard halfway down today and try to sand and clean as much as we can that way. So in order to put the centerboard down, I'm gonna screw this flange already because when you put the centerboard down, it puts so much pressure on this lid that it's even hard to open later. So it doesn't matter, if, even if I don't close, it's gonna be closed by the pressure. So let's put this back in place. That's it. Now we can go lift up the centerboard a little bit and then after we lift it up a little bit we can unhook there is a safe measure there is a pin that is holding the centerboard in place so we need to lift it up a little bit and then we take this pin out and then we can lower the centerboard good morning guess what I'm gonna do today can you tell yeah we're gonna paint something today something I mean something really really special. big <laughs> special and big yeah today we are finally going to start painting the bottom of the boat but before we do that my assistant that still is sleepy okay. <laughs> yeah sunday is a day we always rest a little bit longer but it's also the day that no one's on the boat yard so it's really good to you know to paint something because there's not going to be any dust from any other boat and that's and great as it's a sunny day we intend to paint one coat in the morning and one coat in the afternoon yeah we're going to apply one coat of primer in the morning and then the first layer of and it's falling on the afternoon. <laughs> Hopefully, let's hope we have enough time. But before we do that, my assistant is going to take you on a tour. She's going to take you around the boat to see the result from yesterday fixings on the hole. Okay. So the next step is to send all we did yesterday. Not all, just scratch the surface. Yeah, but Not all it. the parts we did yesterday. Better. Yeah, <laughs> and then after that we're gonna just wash the boat, wait for it to dry a little bit because we don't want any dust in between this paint and the next layer of paint, and then get to work. Can wait for it. I think we are pretty much done and ready to go. How are you doing down there? Let's finish it. Everybody's doing the, you know, the tricky job that's going around the center board. That's <laughs> always trickier because it's, you know, you don't have much space. You need to work on tight spots, but someone needs to do it, right? Yeah. Oh. I think I'm gonna do one more thing before we start. I think I'm gonna clean the anodes because the anodes have some barnacles and I'm gonna use a brush, a metal brush, to clean that out, what do you say? It's better to do it now. Let's do it. area is dry already so now while the hole finished to dry what are we gonna do apply some tape the last chance to convince Robert that we should have a bright colorful stripe in between the bottom paint and the hole what do you say in the sides should we no. we still have time we can still paint please <laughs> yeah we're gonna apply masking tape now We're gonna finally start painting the hull of the boat, that's so good. Before we start the painting process, I would love to welcome on board our new patrons for this week. So welcome on board Mark, Greg and Harto. And we also want to thank the other donations through our PayPal. So thanks so much Robert, John, Doyle and Colin. And now let's start painting. And 
after two hours, the primer is done. Look at this. Prepping the parts of the center bar to paint? Yep. Next step. Why? Well, this dry, we do this. When we finish this, this dry, we apply <laughs> the first coat of antifoli. What's the feeling? Great. What do we have? Last one, last piece of the first coat. <laughs> That's so good. Done. That means that soon we're gonna go to the water because we cannot, you know, do any other way. Now that we started, we need to paint chemical bound once every day, every day, every day until we go to the water. Problem with today? Sales? With sails and engine. Hopefully with everything so we can untie the lines. Today we still have one more thing we need to do. Finally, a wrap. wrap. Yeah, yeah, we have a wrap. <laughs> yeah, we have a wrap. Yeah, the last week, the either rain during the night or was really, really humid. Yeah. And when we arrived, the boat is all wet. So we just want to guarantee no water contaminates with dust and everything are pink because, you know, we worked really hard to have a really well painted boat. You're kind of dirt, actually. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow but the first, with but a lot of paint. Yeah, by the way, the first day was a success. I'm proud. Good morning. Day two of painting. The idea today is to roll this bubble up so we can work on the hull. And then we apply the second coat of antifouling. And then, depends on how the day goes, if it's really warm, by the end of the day, we might apply the third coat already. Getting really close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. successful second day of painting the bottom. We need to wait until dry a little bit more, so then we're gonna cover again and wait until tomorrow. But we have something else to do while we wait. This is a fiberglass panel that we stole from the Reginaldo shop. <laughs> there was garbage at Reginaldo shop, so we're gonna use this for something else. We're gonna, gonna cut three or four layers of that, glue them together to make a thick fiberglass, and we're gonna use that as the base for the chart plotter on the cock. to do is to sand a little bit just to clean the pieces apply epox all over we're gonna manage you're gonna see it but i think it's too late to epoxy anything oh, now sure. because it's already humid and it's already getting colder so i think we should do the last thing of the day we need Cover. to put the plastic down <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow day three day three yeah day three 
Yeah, day three, code number four. Let the work begin. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the music. <laughs> It's the coldest hand that run down this land Where the ocean lands It's the tallest sound The damn smallest crowd But their hearts break loud Far from ever feeling lost with me I'll push you back towards the land and sea Last code. We are done. We need to be honest. This last one we didn't feel. Yeah, it was too much. <laughs> this one is code number five. So that means we have five codes on the entire boat. Primer and five codes of antifault. Yeah, and we have two extra codes on the waterline because here usually is where you clean the most because it's where you have more <laughs> barn codes. So you you know you clean the most. So we apply two extra codes. So here we have seven codes, right? Around yeah, around that. So now we're gonna wait for like two, three days until the weather gets better because supposedly, according to the forecast, tomorrow it starts raining. Uh, it and seems it will... like it's real. Yeah, I think it's real. Yeah, the other thing we need to do is we need to install the prop, the propeller, and we need to paint the prop speed. And what else? Until Monday, we're gonna install the, the <laughs> helm. It's fine. But today we have one more test to do, the satisfying test. Yeah, this, this is a wreck for this first step. Now, we're gonna just let it dry, let it cure, so we can move, move the supports. Move. We told you, we don't need to repeat all again. Yeah, we're gonna move the supports and paint the supports. I just said it again. <laughs> but while we do that, there is one more thing we need to do. Be careful with my paint. <laughs> yeah, we need to go to Reginaldo's shop and paint the windlass that took out, and we had a little bit of corrosion on the bottle because when we paint the boat we didn't take the windlass out to paint and we need to paint three bars that are three tubes that are gonna be the protection for the stays so the sail won't rip no, around no. the protections for the sails from right. the stay yeah <laughs> you know when you say you can scratch the sail on the stay and that's bad for the sail so we have a protection aluminum pipe that protects the sail from the stay but we need to paint, otherwise it's gonna have electrolysis because it's not anodized aluminum. We couldn't find anodized, so we yeah. painted, and that's what we're gonna do now before this dries and we can move on. So let's go. Early in the morning, before the sun appears. Before the world has even stirred Let's get out of here We don't need to hurry The road ahead is clear Let's follow the coast as far as it goes Or until we disappear 